I'm going to demo the new workflow for sending campaigns in Gmail with GMAS. The new workflow starts with this shiny new button that sits in the upper right of the Gmail Compose window. The reason this button is so special is because for the first time in our history, you can set your email list for your campaign at any point in the campaign creation process. See, up until now, you would have to use these two buttons up here to set your list to either connect to a Google spreadsheet with this button or to connect to a list from a prior campaign with this button. But you had to set your list first and then compose your content. And this felt awkward and clunky to a lot of our users. You guys told me that it felt more natural to compose your content here and then set your list later on. And that's what you can do with this button. All right, let me quickly demo the new workflow. So I have a Compose window launched, and now I'm just going to type a simple message. Check out our big sale this week, and presumably I will put details of the sale down here, but I'm not really going to do that just for this simple demo. All right, I have my message typed up, and now I can choose my list with the new button. So similarly to using the old button up here, eventually you'll be able to choose your Google Sheet, and I'm going to send this to my customers. I'll connect to it. And this time, instead of connecting to a spreadsheet launching a new Compose window, which is what this old button does, it attaches to the campaign you're currently working on, like so. This new button will eventually replace these two older buttons, but for now, we're going to leave the older buttons in place for the benefit of, you know, late adopters, people who don't see this video, and people who don't read my email announcements. But eventually, we'll get rid of them, and you'll have a cleaner look in your Gmail account. This adheres to my values of simplicity and minimalism, and with the freed up screen space, you can install other Gmail extensions, you know, like all those extensions that aren't nearly as awesome as GMAS. All right, now that you have the backstory, let me show you what else you can do with this new button. You can set your content through a number of ways. You saw me type this message just now, but you can also load up content from any prior campaign using the templates dropdown right here. I have a lot of messages, but I'm gonna choose the last one here. So there's different ways you can set your content. You could also use some third-party API or Zapier that creates drafts for you, and then you could open up that draft and then set the list with this button. All right, let's say I wanna go ahead and schedule this message to send for an hour from now. Looks good, and I'm going to schedule it. The other thing this new button allows me to do is change my mind. So I just scheduled this email, but now let's say I wanna change the Google Sheet that the campaign is going to. In the old workflow, using this button up here, if I wanted to change the spreadsheet associated with a campaign, I'd actually have to cancel the campaign and launch a new campaign connected to the new spreadsheet and then suppress the old campaign to make sure I didn't send any duplicates. And that was frankly a pain. Now all I have to do is open up the campaign's draft from the GMAS schedule label and edit the spreadsheet that the campaign is connected to. Click the button again and choose the new sheet. I'll change it to the My Contacts spreadsheet. Now, because I've already scheduled the campaign, GMAS wants to make sure that I wanna change the list. And the reason it wants to make sure is because it could affect my personalization because the merge tags could be different between the two different sheets. All right, I've now edited the spreadsheet and all I have to do is come and click the GMAS button or the save button to save my changes. The other neat thing you can do with this button is reuse the addresses that are created when you connect to a Google spreadsheet. So I can take this address right here and start a whole new campaign just by pasting that address into the to field. And now this compose window will be tied to that same Google Sheet called My Contacts. I know that it's connected to it because I'll get a message saying so. And also if I go to my personalization dropdown, I'll see the columns that I expect to see from that spreadsheet. That makes things a little easier because now I don't have to go through the whole process of connecting to my sheet. 
each time I want to send a campaign to a list from that sheet. Finally, the last thing I'll demo is sending a personalized mass forward to a list from a spreadsheet. This is also something you could not do before today. Now you might think that sending a mass forward is old school and from the late 90s when everyone first got excited about email and before spam was a problem, but you might be surprised just how often smart marketers actually forward an email to get people's attention. Anyway, I have this email here from Banana Republic, and let's say I want to forward this email to my contacts. All I do is open up the email, hit forward in Gmail, and now I can set my list. I'm going to send this to my contacts, and now the to field is set. And now I can even personalize my opening line before the forwarded message starts. So I can say, hey, check out this awesome deal from Banana Republic. You are going to look so awesome in these clothes. And now I would just hit the GMAS button and all 90 recipients would get a personalized tracked forward. And that is all. I hope you enjoy this new workflow.